Couple of basic rules to office bocce. Boom, we have a snitch. Now we also know, I just wanna say, we know that the real ball in bocce is not called a snitch. And for those of you who are really into bocce ball, you probably think that we're messing up the word bocce, but here's the thing about this. We made this version up in our office and we can call it whatever we want. So go back to your home. Yeah, outdated marketing team. Right, boom, there are balls. Now, each player gets two balls. Server throws the snitch. Snitch balls. Server also throws the first ball. First ball. Now, if at any point in this said game, one of the balls touches the snitch, automatic one point. But points cancel themselves out. So at the end of throwing four balls, every other one going, the one with the closest ball gets one point. And if both of your balls are closer than your opponent's balls, you get two points. Pretty simple. Thus, every round you have the potential of winning three points, two points, one point, or zero. You had one of those rounds, didn't you, Danny? <laughs> I had a few today. <laughs> In office bocce ball, we do have some additional rules, two that I can think of right now, maybe you can add some, but one of them is it plays off of anything. Couch, desk, Wherever you are, it plays from there. The second rule is, since we are playing this while others are working in the office, if someone ends up happening to kick that ball on accident, there are some people in the office, Amanda and Michael, you know who you are, mm -hmm. who purposely search these balls out to kick them. In that case, we don't like it, but the rules are rules. Rules are rules. If you kick it, the ball plays where it lies. Correct. Now, the server can actually call the throw as well too. Blindfolded, sitting on a chair, Spinning on a chair. So. Game on. Last thing about bocce ball here. This is a serious game. We've played it seriously for the past six years. Six, yeah. And I do just wanna say, you can play this at the office as well. We bought these balls online for about $10. Yeah, I was gonna say 10 bucks. Yeah, yeah. So you should play office and office bocce. And, and I also do just wanna say, hang on. And if you want to challenge us to office bocce, invite us to your office. Maybe we do a film there. Beyond watching the office bocce ball game with us, we also want to provide additional value for your workplace. I know you're probably thinking to yourself, Danny, you've already provided plenty of value in teaching us how to play office bocce ball. I've actually heard in the comment before, uh, Justin, stop, my brain is about to explode.